I'm proud to be Latino. And I may be learning Spanish now. I may be a little bit late to the game, but I'm still in it. And I'm proud to say I'm Latino. And if you ask anybody, I'm, I'm Mexican. I'm Mexican, bro, what's up? Like, I love being Latino, and I'm honored to be Latino. And I don't care who's in the white, I don't care what the situation is, or who's around me, or what the circumstances are, I'm proud to be who I am. And I have just as much reason to be here in this world, to be proud, and to be honorable, and to bring forth something that gives value to this world. And we all have that. We all have big fish in our life. We all have challenges in our life for the foster children, for those who have experienced uh, different constructs of oppression, different constructs of uh, prejudice. We have big, bigger, and bigger fish. So the thing is, is that we all know that big fish are gonna come in life because that's, that's natural, that's just how it works. Like, you know, it's just, it's just part of life. But knowing that that big fish is coming, knowing that we're gonna struggle trying to get that big fish in. If we prepare for that struggle, then we're gonna have a lot easier time getting through that, bringing that fish on board. We wanted to do this, uh, this reception and invite Latino elected officials from around the state because they, we've grown in number. It used to be that there were only a handful, now they don't fit in two handfuls. There's more yes. than that. And uh, we have Latino elected officials uh, in every in every role that we need to have Latino elected officials, and we need more. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that many of them did not had not met each other before, and wanted to provide a space for them to meet each other, and uh, as well as provide an opportunity for you all to get to know who are the Latino elected officials that we do have in our own communities, serving our communities all across this great state of Georgia. So. We wanted to have, it's not going to be a long uh, program at all, but we wanted to have this uh, opportunity for you all to connect and to recognize the Latino talent that we do have serving us in every capacity that's possible uh, right here with us today as well. So thank you all for being here. Leaders reflect, leaders improve, leaders repeat. Reflect, improve, repeat. Leaders challenge themselves and challenge others to be better, uh, not only than themselves, but then what the previous version of them was. Leaders take care of their people. Leaders focus on the little things. Leaders take initiative. Leaders address the needs of the people without having to be asked to, without having to be asked to. There's need all over this world and in our communities, in our own backyard. You don't have to look far to find it, but all you have to do is look in the mirror to see the person who can help with that. You don't have to fix the problem, but you can be a part of the solution. So now is the time for us to act. Now is the time for us to engage, to register, to vote, to go and vote, to exercise that right, to get into the community, to go and say that this is who we are. And I am proud to be who I am. And I'm proud to be surrounded by people who are the same as me, who are my people. This is our time. But see, nobody's gonna give it to us. Nobody's gonna offer it to us on a silver platter like it's given to other people in positions of privilege. 
We must take it. Why? Because it's deserving. We are deserving of it. We deserve it because we are people and we deserve to have that right. So as I close, I believe we will create a world where all people have the equity necessary to become their best selves and live their best life. A world unified by a common belief that we are all humankind and we should be both. A world that wherever you go, you belong. A world where you are one of we and we are all celebrated as unique and valuable members of humanity. Gracias.